All right. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? This is uh, Jim Winkler, Vice President of Sales for Market America. I have on with me Scott Grogan, Director of Training. And Scott and I just wanted to do a real quick video for you. Uh, be free to watch. We want to talk about the inventory management because we're at the end of a quarter right now. And at the end of the quarter, there's some certain things that you need to do to make sure you don't run into any challenges when you're ordering. So Scott, why don't we go ahead and hit that next uh, next PowerPoint. And what, what you're gonna see right here is if you take a look, um, on, if, you, if you're in your back office and you go under inventory management, everybody should know where that is now, it's under ordering, and you see anything in the to be assigned like Scott just put in here. What that means is, and Scott, correct me if I'm wrong, but from the fourth quarter, you still have two OPCs, one vitamin D, one TLS core uh, fat and carb inhibitor that have not been assigned yet, meaning they haven't been sold, they haven't been assigned as personal use, uh, and they haven't uh, been used as a, a promotion and advertising or expired, any of those different categories we have. So those are sitting there. Now, if that happens, Scott, what's going to happen next? Well, if they wait until after tomorrow night and April 1st rolls around, they're going to see those things turn red and they get this warning up top that says they cannot place orders. Now their auto ship will still go through, customer orders at the online sites will still go through. They can still drop ship to customers, no problem, but they won't be able to order just a normal order in their back office, which would normally put things into their inventory. They won't be able to place those orders until they assign these items even if it's just to keep them in their inventory and then they'll be able to order again. So it's, there's no big penalty. There's no purges, no red flushes. I've heard all kinds of things when people ask questions, uh, but, but really it just means they just need to let us know what they're doing with these products and then they can order again. Okay. So basically if someone gets to this point, Scott, all they have to do then, maybe they still have them in inventory. They would just quantity two, select assignment, put it in inventory, right? Keep it in yep. inventory. And then that would disappear. So it's, it's real simple to take care of. And funny because you and I, we were talking about this earlier in the day. And I went in and I checked in my inventory management. And I had nothing that needs to be assigned. And I said, how can that be? And you said, basically, that means anything I had at the end of quarter four, I've already either retailed or put into personal use. Because I mark, I mark it down. Every time we pull something out of our inventory, I immediately take it out of my inventory management under personal use, or if I use it as a, um, some, a promotion and advertising, we take it out of there. So I had basically done that with all the products we had when we started the first quarter from quarter four, and you had done the exact same thing. Yep. And, and neither of us had anything in the to be assigned, which means we would have absolutely no problem. And then April 1, basically, we would have everything that's in our inventory would show up in our to be assigned in black letter numbers again, just like they are in this previous slide. And we would just need to assign those items before the end of June. Yeah, from, from before the end of the next quarter, just by normal use and retailing, it'll probably happen. So this isn't going to affect everybody is what you're saying, Scott. This will affect the people who had more inventory than they've either used, retailed, or, or whatever with, correct? Or, or the ones that just haven't gone in and they've been using product, but they haven't been updating their inventory about uh, that. True, true. Okay. Scott, or, or maybe they've even made sales, but they didn't do the sales receipt entry for it and they just need to update the receipts. If they pulled it out of their own inventory. You mean, right, exactly. That sales receipt. Okay, great. Right. Why don't we go live, Scott, and show people uh, how they could do it live. Can we do that? Sure. So this, th because Jim and I both had already assigned all of our items, this is the test account. Um, you see here that I have products in my inventory. Okay. I have yeah. one item in my inventory that needs to be assigned by the end of the quarter. So it's Scott, a, that's what's going to show up if somebody goes, goes in there tonight and they yep. see something? Th okay. This is this is just like live if you've got one item that hasn't been assigned yet. And this is really super simple. You can either select the quantity over here for whatever that is, or you just click it over here if there's only the one and it puts one in the quantity. You go down here and you pick your assignment. We're going to keep this in inventory. Assign. Yep, I got to save that. And it says product assignment successfully updated. There is nothing in the to be assigned. Life is good. 
Now, wow. as of tomorrow, uh, April 1st, that morning, all of the items in my inventory will be in the to be assigned. And as we discussed, just going through the quarter, creating sales receipts, flagging them as personal use, or um, I'd need to select one. Yeah, you can show everybody the drop. Yeah. Uh, keep an inventory, of course, that, that, the idea behind keep an inventory is at the end of the quarter, assigning the things that you're just going to keep in your inventory. But also if you're using things for promotional advertising use, or, you know, if something does get damaged or expired, that that's an option as well. And HPs and HP ones have the sold to practice option. But as long as you do that through the quarter, by the end of the quarter, you're going to be like Jim and I, and there, you don't have anything to do. But if you do have some older inventory, just assign it, keep an inventory. Life is good. Great. Scott, thanks for jumping on with me to do this. I just wanted to make sure uh, everyone had a, a real easy way to take a look at it and understand how it worked. Um, and we'll get this out to everybody. So I appreciate you, you taking some time today uh, and sharing this with people. And um, you know, from there, let's, uh, let's everybody get our inventory done uh, and up to date right away. And teach our people, more importantly, teach our people that maybe aren't as active as we are how to do this so that they have it taken care of, or at least you know how to answer questions. So thanks again, Scott. I appreciate your time. Thank you, Jim.